Hey gang, Ronan here. As you can see, in this game I am playing the Tier 6 German Cruiser Nuremberg. Uh, I really like the German Cruisers. I think they're a lot of fun to play. Uh, Königsberg and Nuremberg are both pretty squishy, but if you stay at range and stay reasonably well angled, you can often do quite well just spamming HE shells from long range. Especially in these lower tiers where the battleships do not have very good dispersion and terrible sigma. Uh, New Mexico, the shells from New Mexico, they will definitely hurt a lot. Uh, same with New York, but maybe not as bad. Durflinger, same thing. Pensacola is a definite threat, as is Grafsch Bay. Same is true for Furutaka, which has the big, what are they, 203s. So a lot of threats, uh, and I wanted to use this match to highlight this ship because I wanted to demonstrate that you can mitigate the threat with positioning and um, staying far enough away. Keeping yourself at range is super, super, super important. You don't have smoke, so you can't avoid that way. You can't break line of sight like that. You have to just keep your distance. Now we've got a Podboisky that looks like he's going to be heading toward the cap. Uh, Wong Hei, which has smoke. So, you know, it would be easy to say, well, there's another cruiser there. Um, I don't have to worry. He's closer. They'll target him. All of that's true if the, dis the cruiser that's getting closer doesn't have smoke. And he does. And he can move at quarter speed and smoke out. Now that's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for... A destroyer. You can see that he's turned the turbo on. That's why I gave him so much lead. And I gotta hope our destroyer is gonna be able to detect him, but no, our Podlowski. He has smoked up. I do land a few more shells, so he's taking about 5,100 damage from me. I don't know whether anybody else got any shots on him or not. Wang Hei is sitting there, like me, hoping Podlowski can do some spotting, but it doesn't look like he is. But since I've got cover of smoke right now, I'm going to just try and hit what target I can. But Boisky's now behind the island. Um, if he's a newer player, he's probably thinking, well, I smoked for these guys, but maybe doesn't realize that it's great to smoke and that keeps the bad guys from seeing us. But it doesn't really do us any good if we can't see our, our, the enemies any more than they can see us. Our T-22 takes out the Genevni, which is really great. Uh, I understand way too far, I guess, down there. Now, Grash Bay, it's a cruiser, but it has really hard-hitting guns, and if he catches me with AP, um, he can do a lot of damage. Let's see if I can just wiggle between these torpedoes. The Vesa is not a terrible threat until late in the game. Uh, see how many aircraft I can shoot down here as I try to avoid taking too much damage. Okay, so I took a little bit there, but it's not terrible. I don't know if Podvoisky's torpedoes are going to even reach the Grash Bay. They've only got four bombers of range, but if they do, and they did, I might be able to get him burning and finish him off that way. You can see I'm staying well away, and I, I see the Nicholas again, and I'm going to get one more volley off on Grash Bay in an attempt to get it burning, and then I really need to switch to the Destroyer. No, he's gone dark now. Oh, there he is. Anti -aircraft gun crews are on I've got to finish him off. He's making a YOLO rush here, I think, trying to get torpedoes on something. Got him burning. That's going to make him a little more visible. And he's either going to burn down or I'm going to finish him here. And that's it. Okay, so I'm still keeping my range. Grafsch Bay is burning. And the Visser AP. Rockets are no joke, so I gotta make sure I do what I can to mitigate that. I do manage to finish off the Grouch Bay. Burned him down. Let's see if I can avoid these torpedoes. Torpedoes, direct front. I think I'm gonna be okay here. Now, we've got New York. Now down on the other end of the map, our guys are doing okay. Our Cachalot is Apparently doing some spotting of their T-22. And we've got a sub here. You can see the little 
splash area there, and he sent out a ping. He's trying to get that New Mexico. So I'm going to push forward and hope I can help with the, against this sub. The New York is so far away that I don't think he's going to have an easy time laying shells on me as our Omaha goes down to there, New Mexico. And I have to hope that I'm going to be able to get the chance to finish off this submarine. splashy areas there and I'm detected so I'm just gonna run kind of right at him I think he's got to be on the surface or very near it to have me detected I'm still staying reasonably well angled to the New York New Mexico's got his uh, bombs dropping in the water New Mexico looks like he's heading straight at him, so I'm just going to kind of keep the guns this way. And hope maybe New Mexico will light him up. Can I pick up the cap? Now, it looks like the sub is actually headed south. And I'm going to make a YOLO run on the New York. Got to get the cap. I've got help from the Hey, CV is, is chasing the New York. So I'm going to use HE, see if I can get him burning. If I get him burning, any repairs. I don't know what happened there. Anti aircraft gun crews are on full alert. Okay, there's the sub. I, I don't know what the New York is aimed at. Maybe he still thinks the sub is there, or the DD is there. These guns are all aimed the wrong way. I've got to get it burning. I'm close enough now where I can use torpedoes. His guns are turning around, so I'm just going to go right in on him. That probably is enough to finish him right there. I'm just going to get my nose to him and hope he doesn't sink me. No. And the sub pings me. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make the turn. He's already he's already fired everything, so I think we'll, Well, I guess his rear turrets haven't fired, but he's gone. And now I just have to avoid the sub. Who's on the surface? I should be firing at him. Problem solved, sir. Sub's got to be almost dead. So I took a little damage there from the New York, but uh, not much. Torpedoes, direct front. I'm going to eat probably one of these. I don't see any way to avoid it. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Torpedoes to port. And I'm flooding because I already used my repair. It was a bad call on my part. And their CV is backing up toward me. As long as they're not aware of that, this is just so painful to lose all this HP. Right now, each team is uh, still positioned to win. Our Wang Hei is going to secure the Bravo cap, it looks like. And he's kind of tying up their CV. I could have repaired here, but I ought not to because it's about to end the flooding anyway. And there's the sub. So I gotta try and catch him and finish him here. Enemy submarine destroyed. But now the CV knows I'm here. He doesn't have a choice but to move forward. Our uh, high. Oh, I really should have AP shells loaded here, but I don't. He's reasonably well angled anyway. I'll just keep my nose to him so his secondaries don't finish me off. And can I get a good shot on this guy? I don't know. Now, I'm not going to get the torpedoes away. He's moving forward. And I probably should have loaded AP here. But I'm doing a little damage with the HE. Just got to keep, keep after him. And 
And one hit is going to torpedo him. He's going down. I don't know how he missed with all those torpedoes, but he did. And I'm taking a lot of secondary damage here. This might do it. It's a big hit. Wong Hei finishes him off there. Now I'm down to 643 HP. <laughs> Uh, with four kills, um, but we've got this game, I think, now firmly in the bag. We've got um, two of the three caps. We have uh, six ships to three advantage, and I'm the only one in really in danger of getting sunk here. So I think I'm going to run south and try and help finish somebody off. Maybe I can get fire started on the New Mexico or something. Maybe I'll get a shot on the... Now, Pensacola's running away from me. I'm not going to get a shot on him. There is a, a sub that's probably moving toward our New Mexico right now. So I'll run kind of that way, the way I'm aiming right now, and see if maybe I can get a shot on a sub. And then ultimately, maybe I get a fire started on New Mexico. Uh, I got a shot at a crack in here. I don't want to do anything stupid, but you know, I guess you could argue shooting at all and getting detected when you have 643 HP is stupid. So we know where the sub's at. I don't know that I'll get a shot on him. He doesn't have any HP and you see those aircraft dropping depth charges. That might, uh, that might be the end of the sub. But if I can catch him coming around that corner, maybe I pick up my Kraken. Not holding my breath. Our T-22 takes out the Pensacola. Nicely done. That's three kills for him. And the CV gets blapped. Or not the CV, excuse me, the uh, sub. So now my only chance for a Kraken is to finish off the New Mexico. We've got the game no matter what, I think, at this point. So it's time for a YOLO rush, and if I get sunk, it's not the end of the world. I'm sure the New Mexico is going to target me as soon as he sees how low I am on HP. So I'm really just playing for a fire here. But taking a look at the stats, uh, like I said, keep your distance. Use your HE. I, I know I closed on the New York, but at that point, I think that made sense. So two... Uh, cap defenses, seven incapacitations, 133 shells on target, five fires, 11 aircraft shot down, four kills, uh, one cap assist. I'm just waiting for that fire to burn. Yeah, no, he's broadside, so I'm going to go AP. Probably not have a chance of doing anything from this range. 18 secondary hits when I closed on the CV. Yeah, his guns were right here. He shifted from one hay to me, and I just have to hope he misses. Oh, yeah, that was close. A couple torpedo hits on the New York. As, uh, it doesn't make sense for me to stay with AP. i got to just count on getting a fire. And he's not going to look at anything else but me, I'm sure. And this will probably be it for me. So i got to hope that this last round I land a fire. Yeah, so that's it for me. <laughs> And no, no fire, no love. So I'm going to finish with about 82,000 damage. And um, if I had to guess, our T-22 is probably going to end up with the kill here. This was a fun game to play. These are fun ships to play. Like I said, Koenigsberg, Nuremberg, um, both very fun. And at this tier, you know, it's you might have players with like 20 games under their belt. So you never know what you're getting. But, you know, it is kind of like running around. I, I liken it to when uh, when my son was really little playing peewee football. You know, see these guys are running around with helmets they can't see. they got pads that make it where they can't move. And they're all just kind of running around in circles, smashing into each other and themselves. So that's what these tiers are like. But it's still fun, and they're fun ships to play. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, there's no way this New Mexico lives another five minutes. I... You know, the ARP high, he's staying at max range because he doesn't want to get sunk. I'm not sure I agree with that decision. 
because I don't think it matters. But um, either way, New Mexico may land a big shot here. If not, the T-22 is going to do it. He's got his little pop guns going that are shooting flaming corks. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it's kind of fun to play these tiers now and then. I enjoyed this game. I didn't get my Kraken, but it was still fun. And I think New Mexico is going to get the shot here. We'll see. T-22 is going to take a banging here. Boom. Not as bad as I thought, but still. I'll see you next time.